takes three years to build a huge ship, but how long does it take to dismantle one? Some people call this a ship graveyard, but this is actually where they get a second chance. Welcome to Alia Ship Recycling Facility, where 60,000 tons of ships are being scrapped into little pieces. This ship is around 30,000 tons and 95% of it is iron and steel. And around 90% of this iron and steel can be recycled, which is approximately 25,000 tons, worth around $7 million. If you try to mine that much iron from scratch, it would cost more and be more harmful for the environment. So here, you're creating raw materials to reuse from something that's considered garbage. And this whole economy, it's worth more than $500 million a year in Turkey. Because of its work safety and waste management standards, Turkey is the top destination when it comes to shipwrecking and it takes the fourth place globally. And Alia has become even more popular during the pandemic, especially for cruise ships, because cruise ships had nowhere to go. Declining revenues and a lack of passengers have forced ship owners to sell off their older ships for scrap much earlier than the end of their normal commercial lives, which is around 30 years. The majority of the scrapped iron and steel are sent to iron and steel mills. But how about the rest? How about the non-recyclables? Well, they're waiting for their new owners at this second-hand shop. Dismantling a cruise ship is the hardest because they have lots of rooms and a lot of furniture. There is also insulation between rooms which can contain asbestos. It takes one year, one whole year for a cruise ship to be dismantled. Depending on their size, it can take three months or up to one year. And it's not only a lot of time, but it's also very dangerous. According to the International Labour Organization, shipwrecking is one of the most hazardous jobs in the world. Workers can fall from high places, face risk of fire in enclosed spaces and they have to cut big pieces of metal in total darkness. And these are just some of the potential dangers. That's why all the companies in Alia are controlled by three ministries and all workers attend compulsory safety courses every three months. <laughs> yapabildiğimiz elimizden geleni yapıyoruz bazen. Yaptığımız iş diğer işlere göre daha ağır olabilir ama daha fazla paralıyor. Besides workers' safety, environmental challenges are also a concern when it comes to ship breaking because when dismantling a ship, hazardous gases can be released, polluting the air. Uh, ship recycling business uh, doesn't have a very good uh, reputation. Uh, because of the old practices of uh, dismantling operations. Uh, but uh, honestly, I can say that uh, by the help of um, uh, precautions and uh, infrastructure investments, uh, we are in a very good position uh, to minimize the uh, harmful effects of our job uh, to the nature and uh, the human. Uh, we have potentially a 1 million ton uh, recycling capacity in a year. And if you imagine uh, to produce this one million ton uh, iron and steel uh, from mining, you can easily realize that uh, it will be uh, harmful impacts uh, to the nature and human. Also, it costs a lot of money. Globally, 90% of shipbreaking is done by Turkey, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh and China. But among these countries, Turkey is the only one which is on the European Union's green ship recyclers list. Companies that meet certain criteria to protect the environment and occupational safety are eligible to appear on the list, which attracts more customers. What's the process of dismantling a ship? Where do they start? Uh, one of the most important points is to prepare the vessel for cutting operations before it starts to work. Uh, as the first step, our experienced and uh, licensed experts go on board and mark the hazardous materials. Uh, the second step is to collect and remove these hazardous materials and transfer them to the disposal facility. 
we call this housekeeping. Uh, after housekeeping is completed, we take various measures for the workers' safety. Uh, now we need to pull the vessel to the upper side of the drainage channel. This way, uh, we make sure that there won't be any hazardous leaks to the sea. Finally, at the cutting zone, we began the dismantling operations from the forecastle of the ship and go until the stand. You know the drainage system that I am talking about. Uh, it's something unique for Turkey. Uh, also, it uh, differentiates us from the South Asian countries. And it's a very important system to keep sea safe. Shipbreaking is a tough process with potential dangers to the environment and humans, but taking the necessary precautions helps minimize the risks and allows us to reuse materials. These processes have been around since the 15th century when they first set old wooden ships on fire. Not really good for CO2 emissions, right? With many more ships to be dismantled in the future, let's see how improved technology will continue to enhance this process. Music